Great. I am just really excited. Um, this has been a very nice debate. I mean, I want to see some action next time. Okay. <laughs> Going on the attack because I grew up a fighter, fighting in this district for the things that I believe in. And as supervisor, I will fight for you every single day. I have the experience, like no other candidate here, in government and working for the city as a commissioner, as someone who has just been aggressively active in trying to make this district better for everybody. This is extremely important, I know, to all of us. And I want a good supervisor just like you. That's why I'm here tonight. That's why I'm running. And I hope you will consider me because I would truly be honored to represent you all at City Hall as the next district <laughs> as the next District 5 Supervisor. Thank you so much for coming tonight. And please vote London Breeze for your District 5 Supervisor. Thank you. I want to thank the, the uh, organizers, uh, the District 5 Democratic Club, and the other, the other groups that uh, brought this together. This was a great event. Um, there are a lot of issues we didn't touch upon, and I have uh, now 54 seconds, but uh, I won't uh, touch upon them all. But a few things I'm, I'm very concerned about education in this city. The, the city really needs to step up and fill some of the void that the state has been with drastic cutbacks to our schools. Um, the city is not, is not filling that, uh, doing its job and, and doing its responsibility. Um, I think the, the city uh, needs to, we need to, to refocus on the basic services that, um, that make a reason to have government. Um, you know, muni, housing, uh, parks, uh, police and fire. I mean, this is why we have government in, in the begin, to begin with, and we need to work it, make it work better. I have the experience um, on solving a lot of problems. Um, I'm endorsed by uh, Tom Amiano, uh, Supervisor Eric Marr, um, Senator Leland Yee, uh, Jake McGoldrick, former supervisors, and others, and I hope to be endorsed by you folks as well. Thank you. Someone once said that besides the love in your heart, the greatest gift you can give another human being is your labor. So I would like to thank you so much for laboring on the behalf of the Democratic Party, on behalf of those values rooted in truth, in justice, and in inclusion. I myself have labored on behalf of those values as well. As an aide to U.S. Senator Maria Cantwell, I labored on behalf of those values. As a creator of Folklaw, a community affairs program dealing with the hopes, needs, and aspirations of ordinary people, I have labored on behalf of those values. As a defense attorney with the San Francisco Indigent Defense Panel, where I represent indigent defendants, those who cannot afford an attorney, I have labored on behalf of those values. Ladies and gentlemen, this campaign is about the future of San Francisco and the future of District 5. I am ready, willing, and able to serve with you to make sure that that future is the brightest and most promising possible. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, uh, thank you to all, all the candidates and thank you to the District 5 Democratic Club for having me tonight. I appreciate, I'm really honored to run here in this district. Uh, what's that, like the song that says, you go where your, uh, the climate suits your clothes? You run for office where the climate suits your politics. And that's right here in District 5. So I'm really happy to be, be running here. Uh, I want to improve muni. I want to help small businesses. I want to support development that is congruent with San Francisco values. I don't think 8 Washington is. Um, I want to better allocate our law enforcement resources. I want to support, um, I want to fix the roads and the sidewalks that are in disrepair. I want to make substance abuse a public health issue and not a law enforcement issue. I also want to change the way campaigns are run. We're saying no to door hangers. People don't like these. They feel like they're, they make them complicit in the creation of garbage and they end up on the streets. Uh, our campaign is running a fairly paperless campaign um, and we're working with District 5 artists or San Francisco artists to make things that are, that are usable. So the campaign collateral isn't just garbage. Um, it, for, it informs the campaign and then you can use it. 
Uh, and so that's the spirit of my campaign. I, I ask for your vote in November, and I would ask for the club's endorsement. I would be honored to have it. Thanks. I'm Andrew. Thank you. I would like to repeat thank you again to everyone who attended this. It's been a lot of fun. My name is Hope Johnson again. When I was the chair of the Sunshine Ordinance Task Force, one of the things that I did was bring as much open government as possible. And the reason I'm running is that I want to bring the power back to the people. And that is what sums up my positions on a lot of these issues. I think that people, we can, one person can fight, but that one vote is not going to work if the voters don't join together. Only the voters can change um, things, and we need to have the power returned to the people and the residents of San Francisco. I will work to educate and empower the residents of San Francisco so that they can exercise their own civil rights, so we can work as a group to make sure that the people in District 5 have the resources allocated to them. Um, I respectfully ask for your endorsement, and I thank you very much again for coming. I just want to thank the organizers again tonight, uh, the District 5 Democratic Club, also the Whig Party, the North of Panhandle Neighborhood Association, and all the folks that came together to make this event happen tonight, and thank you all for coming out. This is your democracy. This is democracy in action. Let's not forget that. It's about your vision for the future of San Francisco. It's about how you can exercise that franchise, vote, and choose your leader in City Hall, choose your representative in our democracy. So I'm going to take the last little time I have left here just to plug my website. It's juliandavis.org. This is uh, some campaign lit that's going around. There's some issues that our campaign is focusing on on the back of this here. Please check it out. Check out our Facebook. You can follow us on Twitter. Uh, I certainly hope that I have your vote tonight with this club and your vote in November as well. Thank you again so much, and uh, we'll see you at the polls. Take care. <laughs> are warmer than I am. <laughs> um, I am Thea Selby and I am seeking your support and your vote in November. Um, I want a safe and thriving district. This is really what I want. I want a strong voice for neighborhoods at City Hall. What I've seen unfortunately in years past is I've seen how the supervisors are at one level up here and they forget to talk to the people down here and my experience has been that the wonderful ideas come from the residents and the merchants of our neighborhoods and I want to be the kind of supervisor who allows those ideas to percolate up and inform the legislation that we are going to be creating together to make a safe and thriving district and a strong voice for neighborhoods at City Hall as a mom, as a small business person and as a neighborhood uh, uh, president, uh, Merchant and Neighborhood President. I want to first of all thank D5 Neighborhood Action Committee back there. I want to thank Morgan of the Wake Party and of course um, the D5 Democratic Club and I do ask for your support in November and also this evening. Thea Selby, thank you. Christina Loggi, Supervisor of District 5. I want to thank all of you for coming out. I see everyone in the house from the inner sunset to the Fillmore, to the upper hate, to the lower hate. So it's wonderful to have had the opportunity to express some of my values and some of my positions here tonight. It's a little impossible to accomplish that successfully with only one minute of time. So I welcome any of you to call me, to visit our website, and I will go into more detail about what our priorities are Certainly public safety, every issue that was touched upon tonight are issues that we've already begun working on and have been prioritizing since we got there in January. And uh, I would like the opportunity to continue with the vision that we have. And uh, one of my priorities is definitely working closely with people in the district. We don't make a move without input from people in the community. We work closely with people in the community, I always have. I have a record of that, whether it's the medical cannabis community, whether it's... Um, people in, um, who are concerned about um, CPMC, 
by environmentalists, tank recycling, you name it, I always try to prioritize the needs and the concerns of the community. I'd appreciate your vote in November. I'd appreciate your support tonight. We want to continue with our vision. Again, I'm progressive. The only, um, I'm loyal, but the only people I'm beholden to are the residents of District 5. So I really do support, I hope you support me.